How the heck are everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome to my channel. I know I promised I wouldn't film a video today after that 24 hour marathon stream, but what can I say? I'm addicted to the grind. And speaking of people addicted to the grind, I'm not alone right now. At least, you know, at least I'm not doing this by myself. I've got the beautiful a rescue panda. How are you doing, panda? I'm doing pretty good, man. You know, it, I think this is like technically the third time that we've collabed together, even though technically the third time I was really with Tired Idiots uh, on the stream. That was fun. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. We got some fun stuff to talk about today. We got some really fun stuff, which we'll get into in a second. I do want to give you an explicit thank you to all the content creators and all the viewers and all the people that we had over 20 guests on my stream. So thank you guys. Go check it out if you're in the mood for two 12 hour videos, 24 hours worth of content. However, you came on for the hardest shift. I think you were on for almost two hours, which is the longest shift anyone put in. I think, yeah. And you were there from like the 3 to 5 a.m. block or maybe 2 to 4 a.m. block. You were there through the reset from stream one to stream two because YouTube didn't let me do a 24 hour stream. I had to do a 12 hour and a 12 hour. You saw some highs and you saw some lows. So thank you. And it also reminded me we haven't done a video together in two months or something. So now we are. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 been a little bit. I'm excited to do this one for sure. Yes. Let's get so let's get into it, guys. This video is going to be amazing specific tips for all players. So what do we mean by that? These are like just things, tips I've wanted to give for a while, some tips you've wanted to give for a while, Panda that maybe could fit in their own video, but they're things we wanted to give players. So instead of making you know a bunch of three minute videos, let's make one 12 minute video with eight piping hot tips for the player base. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I got a couple. I think you got a couple. Let's get them yes, out there. Absolutely. And at the end, so we've got six tips. They're maybe slightly beginner focused, but I personally know end game players for each one that don't know these things. So look out for that. And then also at the end, I've got a tip for you that we confirmed before you did not know. And then you told me a tip, which I legit, I'm sincerely did not know. You can say the end and you're gonna know that's gonna be good. I'm wearing my good vibes shirt for this good vibes guy over here. Let's get into it. Fastidious. Fastidious. All right, my friend, let's get right into it. What is the first tip you got for us, Panda? Yeah, so the first one is about gear. And I think this is one that is pretty interesting. So when you're going through your gear and you're trying to figure out what stats do I want on this champion? Mm -hmm. What kind of gear do I want? And you go to the sort option, whatever substat you sort by first, will actually rank the gear based off of the gear with the highest percent in that substat. And it actually works for multiple pieces as well. So for example, if you're looking for a piece that has crit rate and crit damage and you put crit rate first, it'll show the highest crit rate no matter what the crit damage is and vice versa. If you do crit damage first, it'll show crit rate. Yeah, so I'm just showing an example right now for everybody to see. This is something I didn't know. I figured out pretty early, but you have to kind of intuitively figure it out. And when I figured it out, I was like, why do all games not have this? Not to sell the game. If you're watching this video, already love the game. But you can see I'm on weapons. I'm not sorting by any specific set. If you clip here, it's showing up all my weapons on my entire account. This is the weapon with the highest crit roll that also has attack bonus. But it's important, right? They're not really filtering by the second stat. They're just saying it has to have that. But the ranking goes by the first stat. Because when you see these little numbers, these priorities, this is how the ranking works, right? Yeah, exactly. And if you swap it, it'll do vice versa. So if you're looking for a piece, for example, that has crit rate and attack as substats, mm -hmm. uh, if you put crit rate first, it will show the piece of gear that has the highest crit rate on your account, but also has attack percent and vice versa. So if you put attack first and crit rate second, it'll show highest attack that also has crit rate. Yeah. Awesome. So like, yeah, I just pulled up weapons here. Uh, we actually behind the scenes, we just filmed this and we did crit rate and crit damage. And then we we're like, wait, you can only get crit damage on ancient weapons. So now crit rate and attack. Uh, you can see Brienne, this is a nice piece here, right? 24% crit rate, 22% attack. This is the highest crit rate roll on my account on a weapon that also has attack bonus, but the, the roll and the attack bonus doesn't matter. So if we go to the next one, uh, you will see uh, it's got crit rate 23.9%, so lower than the 24, and attack's all the way down at 14. But then we can go, the attack is down at 13. If we go here, the attack is way up at 20. There's, just saying it has attack, what's descending the whole time is crit rate. So 23, 22 and a half, uh, 21, so on and so on, right? And on the same token, we can just flip it, right? Right, Panda? Yeah, exactly. So we have this little number one here next to attack and number two next to crit rate. Now, actually, Boreas has this juiced up piece. Of course, it's on Boreas. The, the hero is a, he's a problem right now. But 26.5% uh, with 22.5% crit. And then you can see this is 24% with 20.5%. We can see if the crit goes up on any of these, 24, 20 and a half. And you can see the crit is not contingent to saying it has the crit, right? Here's a nice uh, one. Exactly. This one, even has zero crit technically because I haven't rolled it up fully yet. So things like that. 
that's a great tip. Uh, honestly, it took me at least two or three days of gameplay to figure out. And I know for some people, maybe they're finding out right now. Let us know in the comments. You want a tip from me? Yeah, let's go. All right. So here's one I actually was showed another content creator on a stream last night. So shout out to Cyber Killers. Uh, I'd never watched him before. He is amazing, guys. Go check out his channel. Uh, I was asking him to show me his heroes. And actually, this is a, something a viewer taught me. So no one be embarrassed uh, if you didn't know this. I found this out like a week ago. How long have you known this tip? Because I know I told you about it before. Uh, I've known about it for a little while. I don't know exactly how long, though. I want to say like maybe a maybe a month or so not super long uh yeah so i found out probably within the past two weeks which maybe that's embarrassing i don't know but just don't be embarrassed if you guys don't know these tips even if they seem newbie tips if you want the best way to like hey if i'm like yo panda i want to show you how good my roster is i want to flex this is the best way to show you here because horizontally so much more visual and so much easier to just like control shift s for me you know window shift s and get a nice picture than like this horrible kind of three columns going on forever right like this is one thing raid shadow yeah. did better it's very hard to like look at your heroes however you go to friend assist uh you know how i found this out i was doing a takeover for someone and i asked people to send me the picture of their roster and this is how they sent it i said wait how you do that <laughs> <laughs> interesting yeah that's that's definitely a way to figure it out for sure i yeah. want to say i think that's maybe the way that i figured it out as well actually yeah yeah I, i'm so it's nice and simple but these tips are all over the place but i mean that that helped me i mean it it changed my life you got one for me yeah so this is a one that I, I think this is probably one of the most important ones here because if you make this mistake you could literally ruin your account uh and it's another gear tip crazy how i have both the gear tips here but uh it's another gear tip and it's when going to sell your gear so a lot of the times we go in and we know that right side gear we don't want flat stats like 99.9% .9 of the time and so we go in and we select flat attack flat defense and flat HP but something that a lot of people don't necessarily keep in mind is weapons always have flat attack and chests always have flat HP so if you go in and you select this and you just quick select everything and sell you're going to sell literally all of your weapons and all of your chests so you want to make sure that you are selecting the right side pieces of gear right your ring your necklace yes. and your bangle before selecting the flat stats otherwise yeah. you're going to be laughing really a bit sad because we all we had we, so we knew some of these shows tips we talked before this and this is one we both had because it's like it's dangerous i've yeah. talked to many viewers i'm like hey dude you have like you really need to find more gear aid one he's like yeah, so about that. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I sold everything. Yeah. So I mean, so this might have, people already might be having a panic attack because I'm literally one click away from selling every uh, not currently locked, every unlocked weapon and breastplate. Oh, <gasps> I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but so basically, if you did that, I'd, I'd be, I'd lose, you know, who knows how many thousands or tens of thousands of stamina it took me to get some of these pieces that I have not got around to locking, right? So you need to make sure you first click bangle amulet ring, then you can yep. click defense attack HP. I actually just sold this, but then if you want to do a select all include those, you can do that. Rest assured, right? But I at least yeah. four people I can think of in takeovers granted i've done a lot of takeovers but i can think of people that are like hey man like i mean i like all the ancients you've got with the you know sub arcana stuff like this but have you just neglected gary one he's like no i sold everything back so yeah yeah that's the worst <laughs> that, that's why personally what i do is i lock my gear as i'm selling it from ending my runs and then i just never have to worry about making the mistake but it's still important to make sure you don't do it in the first place right <laughs> no doubt uh, here's a really easy tip a nice short one that i'll give you guys uh i'm sure you know it panda but uh, yeah, not every game has this. If you hold down a hero avatar, you immediately jump to the hero. I think that's great. Yeah, really good yeah, when for, swapping gear for sure. Yeah, so I, the reason I pulled up field boss is I, you guys know I'm I'm sweaty. I mean you're sweaty too, Panda. Like we get we get into it. Uh, I'm always moving my best gear around, so that means it, and usually I do guild boss before reset or before I go to bed. That's I should probably do in the morning. That'd be more reliable, so I never miss it. I almost never miss it. Uh, but I do miss it once in a while, yeah. so I should change that. That's another tip. Try to do the things you really really want to do at the beginning of the day. Uh, so you never miss your go boss. However, I usually do do it at the end of the day and I've moved my gear around to push this content or that content or show this in a video or that in a video or this on stream, right? Uh, and then I'm like, shoot, where's Arrogance's gear? You can just hold him down. That's not Arrogance's gear. My Arrogance is in Soulbound Arcana. Oh, that's because I was just farming XP raid. That was an Ardia. I go in here. Amazing, right? Now my Arrogance is rocking and rolling yep. in the set he's supposed to be in. The same thing can go. I mean, Hollow's wearing her gear right now, but let's say Hollow's gear was, uh, I moved it to Elowin for a different piece of content. You just, it's a great way, just really quick. So. Yeah. And if that saves one person time, like it saved me time when I figured it out, uh, I think it's worth it. You got one final tip for us yeah, before absolutely. we go into the two really spicy ones? Yeah, um, I, I I think this is one of the things that Watcher actually is just a most, the most amazing game when it comes to, and that is the ability to kind of recoup some of your summon currency. Uh, if you don't already know this, you can actually sell your three-star champions, your rare champions that you get and you aren't going to use for gems uh which is really crazy right because a, a a summon is 88 gems 
you can yes. if you get a rare it's only 58 right because you can sell and get 30 gems back which is never really, thought really of it nice. like that it's only 58 yeah i have thought yeah. of it. Uh, i never did the minus 30 subtraction but essentially it is like a rebate right it's like a, oh, exactly dude, you got a rare hit 30 bucks off, yeah. you know 30 diamonds off yeah uh, what i do like about it too so i again this I, I found it my first week i hope many people have found this out but if i hope there's no one finding this out months into the game because i was just using these as three star fodder once i had five uh awakened five of my rares i locked i wanted one copy rare i locked them and i'm like all right fodder right i've got a copy there's not many rares in this game yeah think about 30 diamonds is so 60 diamonds is 200 stamina so 30 diamonds is 100 stamina for 100 stamina you can farm up yeah. multiple bouts of xp and fodder and even get some rare drops so if you're wasting that yeah. just for a three-star fodder it's it's yeah get get your diamonds <laughs> simple as that yeah summons, absolutely let's be honest absolutely. We're we're using them on summons speaking of summons i think you had another one that you wanted to talk about about summons too we, we kind of know that there is one bonus one that <laughs> yeah. we, we have to talk about uh actually before that before the one i think you're thinking about that we talked about and we just left off the list uh if you oh, yeah. summon a certain hero you have to remember to do something you were telling me about, right if, if you summon razak or our, 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 our oh, big, right. uh, beautiful pirate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So one of the things that I recently pulled Razak in one of my sub sessions, and I was like, you know, I don't really have a use for him. He's not someone I need. I already have Nyx for Gear Raid 3. I'm not super excited about him. And I just happen to be reminded that he has this really cool passive that gives experience in any piece of content that he's in. And so I went and I put him in every piece of content that I could possibly do and redid all of my auto runs. Uh, and that's because it just it adds up over time, right? You get that extra 5% XP. Uh, and same thing with Reeve getting that 5% gold. Yeah. So like this also, he doesn't need to be deployed. So let's say you beat Gear 2, it's super hard, but now you have power dominance. So now you do 221. Mm -hmm. Let's say you just beat 221 for the first time you can easily leave leave uh, Dolores out, right? Because you just unlock Paradonance. You have an open slot. Throw Razak in. You don't even need to deploy him. You're going to get 5% increased XP per battle. Maybe it's only, I don't know how much XP you get from a gear aid, but it's like 80, right? So yeah. you're only going to get an extra 16 time. XP. But if you do 1,000 runs, that's 16,000 XP. And you do this, 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 this. If you use him in the XP raid, obviously it's even better. There's no If you can ever squeeze Razak into your account, into, into a run, into an auto run, do it. Moreover, if you get Reeve, who we're about to talk to about in a second, he gets another 5%, so now it's 10%, and then Reed, Reeve himself has the exact same effect, but with gold. Uh, and we were both kind of like pining over the fact that, you know, on both of our accounts, Reeve is nice and grayed out because when are they bringing back the banner, right? Don't you want them to bring yeah, back this banner? They, yeah, I know, because I know you missed it and I wasn't playing yet. And so it's like, I man, getting Reeve would be a game changer because A, he's a really good champion, but also just the yes. gold. I mean, it's oh just God. that good. And I'm just realizing now, I'm just learning this because I guess I don't like looking at this because it just makes me in pain, but it's actually 6% with <laughs> Reeve. So if you have Reeve and Raza, oh, wow. 12% more gold, 10% more XP for every battle you can squeeze them into. He's also a tremendous yeah. champion. Devs, if you were watching, please, please bring the Reeve banner back. All right, so this was right when I started playing. I didn't have anything saved up. I didn't even know what a guaranteed banner was. He was the first guaranteed champion, but I started the, the game like three weeks after it went launch. You got to bring him back. I mean, get. I know what we could do, guys. We everyone should get in the comments and say, if we all, if we have 100 comments saying, please bring Reeve back, I bet you we, at, sooner rather than later, they're going to cycle the banner back eventually. Maybe we can get it to come in the next month or two, as opposed to the next six or eight months, right? What do you think, Panda? Yeah, that'd be crazy. I would be so excited. I know that you don't drop below 20k gems so that you can. Yes. always be ready if he comes so you know so i think I'm, I'm gonna start doing that myself <laughs> do it man honestly i suggest everyone does it if you're in the position to do it when reef first came i was back and full-blown dirty free to play now i'm free to play but giving tens of thousands of dimes a month right so p dirty for a different reason uh yeah uh, you can decide if you i earned them or not through my content but uh, i'm never gonna let this go below, below twenty thousand diamonds because that basically guarantees me that and then if i need a couple more summons or honestly once i do the rare rebate at least eighteen thousand diamonds because you'll make some diamonds back off rares then you can guarantee you have 250 summons uh so I, you yeah. will never see that go under on my account unless i know like in two days more diamonds are going but basically i'm not gonna risk it who knows they might do a we're doing a one hour reeve banner are you ready i, I don't want to miss that because i didn't have the diamonds yeah exactly let us know if you want to see reeve because boy do i want to see reeve all right now uh you got one for me right i don't know what this one is uh yeah okay so this is actually one that yeah. uh i have realized recently and it's because i've been trying really hard to push my tide because i, I need to get legendary tide. skill dust yeah so i've I'm, been going I'm in literally and... pushing for 140 tonight oh hey look there you go so this might actually okay, help cool. you with that little piece of progression so i found this out because i was going through and i was trying to find any way i could to squeeze bp onto my champions and I was sitting there and I'm using Hatsit, for example, in my Tide run because she's one of my highest BP champions. 
camps and she's using a plus 25 idril's gaze and i'm thinking this is oh. definitely the highest bp ever right and then i was like you know let me just look let me double check and i put on a a plus 10 uh mythic artifact and i gained like three or four hundred bp at plus 10 or plus one so i think even was maybe 20, 25 to plus 10 but just because it was yeah it was mythic because it was rare to let or from legendary to mythic right uh and same thing with exclusives right i just recently picked up the cetrum exclusive from the event uh and i was using a a regular legend uh, regular mythic on him before and i skyrocketed to bp i mean it was a a good wow. chunk of bp that i gained uh, just That's... from equipping that which even if it's not the greatest you know thing in the world right like i'm using a random mm -hmm. mythic artifact it gave me the bp to be able to do the tide stage because it's just that last that's last push and then you can put the the one you exactly. want back on and potentially that's crazy so exactly. yeah we didn't want to yeah. tell each other these so i actually didn't know that and i i'm no joke you guys heard me on stream yesterday i do want to finally get my 140 and get my next uh Volca soul stone so that i want to do you mind if i test that not that i doubt you but that's yeah crazy. for sure yeah so I, I i do run idril in her her artifact not her signature but named after her so it's plus 25 so let's yeah. see if we take it off let's see how much bp we lose so we were gaining 6731 let's remember that number so you're saying i could put on any mythic artifact pretty much yeah it should, be, it should be more okay that's crazy yeah it's actually pretty insane like that you, just this tiny little change can actually make just a large increase especially when it's something that you don't necessarily think about right like you're thinking idril's best artifact is idril's gaze why would i ever take it off of her and then you have yeah. this this mythic artifact that just does nothing for you but gives you that bp for tide i actually was thinking it's an amazing point and i just was thinking while you were saying that i actually was just i don't remember what content i was running uh, I, mean, I was trying something in Void Rift, and I was running uh, arrogance, uh, excuse me, arrogance, abomination in his signature. It's one of the few I have in his signature. And I was thinking, this is base promo. So you said this should give more BP to any of these normal mythics base promo, right? Yeah. All right, so let's take it off. Seventy-one forty-one. So this is going to be less. Fifty-six. Yep. A that's, good chunk that's less. That's like that's fifty. That's fifteen hundred less. That's almost twenty-five yeah. percent or twenty percent less. It's a game changer for Tide. I mean, I thought I was gonna get one forty. I think with that, if I and I, you know, I'll min max it. Now I think we will get it. I think maybe you do know this because I said this on stream yesterday, but I think you didn't know it before, maybe because a lot of people were surprised. Yeah. Uh, so in Guild Boss, when I run my Gear Aid three, uh, I don't know if everyone's geared, but I'll just click it. I'll know pretty soon. Uh, it's this is very specific, but if you just I mean these can take it can be annoying when it's you've been playing for a hundred days or even twenty days and you're running guild boss all day. Once you're stuck in a run and you're not progressing it, uh, what I do for Nightmare Three, I blast through Nightmare Three. I've got a pretty good team, so the second I hit the third shield, the second I go over twenty k blood comfortably, I just take everyone out. Yeah. So yeah, do you know that? Yeah, just, that's something. You, I, I I didn't know it before your stream. I know it now, you obviously, okay. because of your stream. Okay. But I didn't know before that, and I remember my reaction on stream was literally like wait that works because i didn't know i thought everyone had to actually you, die but it works yeah. kind of the same way as laurel does right if you remove them they're considered dead so it was very very surprising to me i had never thought about I it i think you probably thought the way i thought that's like well i didn't die i'll just redeploy someone but if you think about it, you can't redeploy someone once the battle starts if you have no one on the field exactly like there's no yeah. battle anymore they've beat you so so yeah like you'll see here i think it looks like it's running smooth this should be nearly the third shield coming up You'll see the numbers will be pretty strong. I don't know if all my gear is in the right place, but it is NM3 for my account. It's not going to be a big deal. Yeah, we're going to get it. Uh, but you'll see the second after that, I just take your run out, and it should end at about a minute 20 or maybe minute 25. It's not the most, but especially if you're like me and you don't have the priv card, it's like just over 30 seconds that you save, right? Yeah. Like If it was, if yeah. it was a minute 30, that'd be 30 seconds uh, with the 3X. So look, I take everyone out. A little, a little bit off of the gear, but hey, you know, I'm glad this is recorded so everyone can see that Fasty does make mistakes sometimes. I, well, you just watch any of my streams lately. I've been a little sleep deprived. There's a lot of mistakes. Well, hey, we, we can loop back to that tip. Here's another tip. Check all your, even if you're filming, check all your stuff. T tell your friend to wait yeah, and check all yeah. your gear. Because if we go in here, yep. we're going to find someone's missing their gear. No question. And look at that. I was doing gear A3 overnight. Of course I was. That is that's a, perfect. Well, that's a, that's a funny way to end it. So yeah, if you guys, if you want really like thoughtful and actually meticulous fastidious content please check out rescue panda if you want sloppy 18k nightmare 3 runs live in front on a video in front of your friend stick with me thank you so much for watching i've been fastidious if you like my stuff like it if you like panda stuff please 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 go check them out subscribe comment just comment about reeve guys if, if i can show our contact we can both send our contact there's 150 comments people saying all caps bring the reeve banner back you know that you know they listen anyway share it with your mother we'll see you in the next one Fast idiots.